We're going on a trip to the Pacific Northwest. We will be visiting Seattle, Vancouver, and much more. Join us on our fun adventure. This is Vancouver with Kids. We are at the Capilano Suspension Bridge Park. Originally built in 1889, Capilano Suspension Bridge stretches 450 feet across and 230 feet above Capilano River. First, we're going to walk across the bridge. This is very shaky. Baby, don't go too fast. Oh, this is so wiggly. What a beautiful view of the river and forest. We finally made it to the other side. Now we're going to nature's edge. This is a series of boardwalks that winds through the rainforest and in areas overlooking the gorge. Watch out for the banana slug! Uh-oh, this bird looks hungry! We're going to the treetop adventure. Baby and I are going to work on the activity book to earn a prize. I'm walking on one of the seven suspension bridges 100 feet above the floor. I'm measuring my height to get the answer for one of the questions. <music> Lastly, we're turning in our workbooks to receive our badge. Now we're going on the cliff walk. This is a cantilever walkway clinging to the granite cliff high above Capilano Canyon. The bridge is getting very narrow. Oh look, I can see a waterfall from here. We had so much fun at Capuano Suspension Bridge Park. Please go to capbridge.com to purchase your tickets. We are at the Bledel Conservatory. Opened in 1969, this is the lush, dumb, tropical paradise at the top of Queen Elizabeth Park. There are more than 200 free-flying exotic birds and 500 exotic plants and flowers that thrive within this temperature-controlled environment. We're going on a scavenger hunt. Oh, I could use one of those as a water bottle. Hi, Pooley. Hi, Perry. Lastly, we're looking at some cute little birds. I think the bird is going to build a nest with that. We had so much fun at the Bloedel Conservatory. Learn more at vandusengarden.org. We are at the Museum of Vancouver. Founded in 1894, this is the largest civic museum in Canada and the oldest in Vancouver. The history began with the natives. I'm trying to find all the objects on the scavenger hunt. The permanent exhibitions tell the city stories from the early 1900s to the late 1970s. What are those phones? I wonder why they put these here. I learned Greenpeace started in Vancouver. Lastly, we're going to check out some arcade from back then. Please visit museumofvancouver.ca to purchase your tickets.